When I wrote Pop It in the Toaster Oven, I had to adapt many recipes for the toaster oven. Cakes, pies, casseroles, entrees like chicken, beef, fish. Many of the recipes had to be adapted for the proportions of the toaster oven. But that's easy. If you have a six slice toaster oven, many of the recipes will work just as they are. And today I'm going to do a favorite of my grandmother's, my German grandmother's recipes for cherry chocolate cake. I'm starting out in the traditional fashion with a bowl and a wooden spoon. And according to directions, first I'm going to mix the wet ingredients, starting with an egg, a half a cup of yogurt, a half a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of olive oil, and I'm going to beat these ingredients together using my trusty wooden spoon, just like Grandma did. Now I'm preheating my toaster oven to 350 degrees, and I'm adding one cup of unbleached flour, a half teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm mixing again with my trusty wooden spoon. I'm adding two cups of pitted sliced fresh cherries and three ounces of dark chocolate. Folding these ingredients in, transferring to a cake pan that has been oiled and floured. Popping the cake pan into the toaster oven. Ooh, I used to lick the bowl with the batter sometimes. Oh, the luscious combination of chocolate and cherries in a cake takes me right back to Christmas and the holidays when I was a kid. Traditionally, this cake is sprinkled with powdered sugar, which is really quite lovely. I have served this cake very successfully with vanilla ice cream, but my favorite combination is Mmm, over 250 beautiful, delicious recipes just like this in my Pop It in the Toaster Oven Cookbook, which you can buy anywhere.